Hey everyone, this is Jordan from sleeplens.com. Uh, this one's going to be a real quick video talking about the Photoshop sky replacement and refining it a little bit. Uh, this is in a response to a comment that was left on the previous video that we talked to about the uh, sky replacement where we introduced it and kind of showed it. Uh, but this one is a little bit of a uh, comment uh, about uh, how to match colors. Uh, so there's a couple ways of doing that, but what we're going to do here is just replace the sky in this image. So I'm going to go in our sky replacement, go to fo uh, the Photoshop menu, edit, and then go down to sky replacement. And the sky that I want to use is probably going to be this one that's actually loading up right now. Uh, and the reason I want to do this one is because uh, the colors are pretty different. This is more of a warm... Uh, a lot of warms and blues here, um, but this one's got a lot of magenta in it, or the original image uh, has a lot of magenta, a lot of uh, more on the cooler side. So, um, one of the main things that it, that you can do here is adjust the uh, lighting adjustments and the color. Uh, when you do the lighting adjustments, it's going to create a little bit of a haloing effect if you go down too low. You can see if you start to bring in some of that other sky, there's a little bit of a halo going around here. So I try to not mess with the lighting adjustment as much as possible. But the color adjustment is really the one that you want to pay attention to. So the color adjustment, I typically, when I do these sky replacements, I don't really try to match the color temperature or anything like that. Uh, I just take the sky, the, uh, the color adjustments, and turn it all the way up. Uh, and then I can finesse it from there. But you can see that the colors start to match the... Uh, the sky over here a little bit better now we can ch play with the brightness if we want to take up the sky a little bit a little bit more a little darker a little warmer a little cooler but most of the time the color adjustments actually work very well uh, so one of the thing uh, one of the things you can do is this obviously but we have another method uh, as well so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this uh, I'm gonna go back in here and just do a sky replacement but before I do that I'm actually going to create a duplicate here. So now on this top layer, I'm going to do a sky replacement. I'm just going to do the same thing we did. And I'm just going to do all the defaults that it gives me. So perfect right there. That looks good. And then we'll click OK. Now what I'm going to do is now that these are in uh, these adjustments are in a different folder, I'm going to go ahead and combine all these into one image. So now we have this one and then this one. So now what I want to do is take this one away and go over here to my main image and you can do this many, many different ways. Um, sometimes I will hop into the camera raw filter to do this, but a lot of times I can actually get away with doing a photo filter. So I'll take a photo filter and I'm going to get a warming filter because our initial image was warm. And I'm going to crank my warming up a little bit at a time until it gets to a nice warmth, a uh, nice color match in there. So all of this pretty much matches uh, pretty good. It all kind of blends in together, and that's what I'm wanting. So I'm going to take these, I'm going to combine these together. Now I'm going to take this image, and I'm going to uh, take this bottom one here, drag it on top, and I'm going to create a, um, a mask. Uh, I'm going to create an inverted mask. I'm going to hold the Alter Option key on my keyboard and click the Layer Mask button. And now I can take a brush, a white brush, uh, low flow and uh, very soft, and I can just paint in that building to match the color. And the one reason why you might like this method a little bit more is because you can create a very large brush and you can paint around it to kind of bring in some of that warmth wherever you want it. So it's up to you, it's up to the image, um, but you can kind of play around with those warming sections. So uh, that's a good way of, of matching color, but uh, if you're doing it real quick, you probably want to just use the color adjustments and the sky replacement, but you can do it a little bit more this way. Uh, again, whatever works best for you, but uh, these are two of the methods that you can use. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next one.